Hey there, some folk. Quick video how I cut down my ACM panels. Uh, generally, I buy them 4 by 8 panels, and um, this is typically for cutting down uh, 3 millimeter ACM. I'm going to flip over here and show you some tools that I'm working with. So essentially, um, I have a uh, straight edge, something aluminum, metal, something flat. But as long as it's rigid and it doesn't bow when you apply pressure to the side, uh, I got some uh, clamps, a uh, just a regular razor knife here, retractable is a plus. Um, and the other thing is uh, my table. So I use uh, 3 16 acrylic on my table. And I'm going to note that in order to cut... Uh, ACM, you need to be on a very solid surface. Don't try to do this with one of those foldable tables um, because it's uh, it's just going to make a mess. Um, you need something sturdy, um, not necessarily bolted to the ground, but just something heavy. And sometimes uh, two extra hands definitely help. So, All right, so probably one of the most important things is that make sure that this edge that you're going to be snapping the ACM on, this edge right here, is square. So what I do is once I have my panels measured out, I move them over. And because I'm cutting 30 inches of material, I just barely have 30 inches to work with over here. So just make sure that you've got enough room around the panel that you're working with. Um, essentially what I do... Just grab just a regular uh, tape measure and a ballpoint pen. Take your marks on your ACM. Once you have your marks top and bottom, I actually put one in the center um, just to make sure that this isn't deflecting to make sure that all the points line up so I have a nice square panel. So what I have to do is make sure that where my mark is, it's on the very edge. So there's my mark, and then there's the edge of the acrylic. I want that line right on that edge. It's a little bit over, it's okay, but you don't want it further back because that'll actually bend the panel. So you want it directly on the mark or a little bit over. Okay, so I wanted to reposition the camera so you could see this here. It's what I was saying. I use this edge to line up on my table to make sure that it's square. I know that that side is lined up on the edge of my acrylic. So with my straight edge, put a uh, little clamp there. And I clamp it down really hard because you don't want that to move. This edge on its mark. Again, clamp it really, really tight. And if all works out correctly, like I said, I can see my center mark right here. So I should be good. So, word to the wise always use a blade with a good tip on it. If it's broken off, it tends to separate the aluminum. So when you cut, it's not a clean edge it actually blossoms out. So when you cut the aluminum, it'll actually flare out so you won't get a nice clean edge. So start with a good sharp blade and this should go pretty easy for you. And I do one score and watch your fingers. I apply a lot of pressure to cut through the aluminum That's that. Now, this is, um, what am I using here? This is uh, 0.20 aluminum, so it's a little bit thicker, but essentially the, the process is the same for all ACM. The big difference is in the plastic core, so some of the stuff breaks a little bit easier, um, but this stuff um, should snap really easy. So I have my one score on the top, all you have to do is hold your hand down just to apply pressure and then hopefully you can see this. So I have my other hand back up here about halfway. So that's the first break. 
Got your nice clean line. So what you want to do with this one, put it back up, do it twice, quick snap, and you've got a perfect edge. You can focus right there and you can see this is the factory edge. And then this is the edge that we just cut. Of course, it still has the protective coating on it. And again, both sides, you can see it didn't bend. Go over here to this edge. You can see that this one didn't bend either. Flip around here so that you can see the cut edge. You can see it's nice and smooth. Oops. Come on, refocus. You can see it's nice and smooth on both sides. The core snaps nice and clean. So now that you got your main panel cut, and you still need to break this down even more, again, pull my tape measure, do your marks with a regular ballpoint pen. I take a uh, big blue or something, you could use the same straight edge that you used um, to cut the other panel down. The beauty of these is that they have the non-slip on the back, so when you apply force to it, it's not going to slide and you don't have to use the clamps. So I line these two up again to do one score. And again, I put a lot of pressure on it. And again, I'm going to use that straight edge on my table to line up what I just cut. So there's my cut edge. That's what I just cut. And again, holding your hand about midway on the panel. You don't want it up top because you have no leverage up here. If you go back here towards the back, you're going to end up bending the panel. So about center where you have some leverage where you can push down on the panel, that works the best. Once you have that piece snapped, flip it over. Again, using the same crease or snap, bend, break, whatever you want to call it. Align it up to the edge of the table. Go back down and just a quick snap and you get nice clean cuts. And now you can keep using the same technique to cut your panels down. Um, what I found is once you get below like a six inch panel, um, depending on what size or the length that it is, um, it becomes a little bit more difficult to, to, to snap the panel. So, um, you know, sometimes you have to put them on the, uh, put them on the table saw. Sometimes you got to use a circular saw, your jigsaw, whatever you're going to use when you get down to the smaller panels. But that's pretty much what I do. Um, and like I said, just progressively, just keep drumming them down as you need it. So, okay, there you have it. Easy way to cut ACM. I was just looking down here, show you another tip too. And I know I, I, I mentioned this in some of my other videos um, when I cut ACM sometimes when you do get a little bit of lip um, from cutting or maybe you cut too deep or um, the cut isn't exactly perfect um, and there's a real sharp edge and you don't want to give that to customers uh, this is a deburring tool <clears throat> sell them at Lowe's Home Depot uh, I'm sure you can get them off Amazon anywhere I don't know if there's a brand on this oh, this is made by General um, but the deburring tool actually works really, really well on, uh, on ACM and aluminum. Um, and you just run it down the side. So you would just take it and run it down the edge there. You knock off that hard edge. So that's all I got for today, folks. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Again, this is Sean the Sign Guy. If this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, obviously leave them below and I'll be sure to get back with you. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.